Bear Inner Beauty started by a couple of military officers who had experienced tremendous loss in their lives and found a way to support each other through creative ways of expressing um, what had happened to them through the process of art. Bearing a Beauty is an art community education group and members come together and paint. We usually paint for different causes and we also like to get out in the community and paint with different individuals. So this consists of painting out at retirement homes or also local schools and getting connected with the community we're surrounded by. We come in, you know, meet and greet, everyone's socializing. On our whiteboard we usually have our theme for the night, what we're painting for. It can be a lot of different things, different forms of expression for yourself. And we launch into kind of the first five minutes of streaming consciousness on the back of that uh, canvas, kind of letting your thoughts flow and get everything out, kind of your story that you're going to paint for the night. And at the end of the five minutes, we open up the paints and open up the brushes and allow people to express themselves. Everyone's sitting around these large group tables painting, talking together, and really have that connection with your people next to you, ask you what they're painting, kind of ask for help. And I think a big thing that makes us totally different is that at the end of the night, we all come together and we take about 10 minutes and we all talk about, you know, what you created that night, if you want to share about it. And some people really enjoy that healing process kind of comes from saying, you know, this is what I created and this is what it means to me. Bear and Beauty started when, having gone through tremendous um, tumultuous life circumstances, my friend, Brian James, he came to my house with seven small canvases and he allowed me to express myself on the canvases. Sitting in my, in my barren house, with literally with nothing there except for a table and chairs, and we were creating things. And I was like, man, I, I don't care at all what this looks like. This is just, this is just fun to do with another friend. He was really hurting from the long divorce. That was very painful for him and we started painting in order to create something for his walls. And it really took off with him being able to heal and do some therapy from the art. And as we brought more people in, it just started to grow as more people came to share and connect through the painting we were doing on Friday nights. And it was awesome seeing how the transformation occurred within him and with people who came over as we started painting and the kind of therapy that evolved out of it, and the community of growth we started to do. That process grew from two people to eight people to 15 people to 30 people to 50 people. It now encompasses a ton of people in Southern Pines to include military and non-military. It has a musical orientation to it, um, a visual art orientation to it. It's not definitely not therapy in the you know the sense of lying on someone's couch, and that's the great part, is it gets a lot of things people don't want to talk about or even you know, think about. Uh, kind of comes out slowly in a good environment, you know, you're not trying to go seek help, but you kind of get to deal with things you might otherwise, you know, table if you don't want to really deal with that day. So it's nice to kind of have a positive way to express them and get those emotions out so they don't remain bottled up inside you. I really do believe in what we do. Like I really, I, I really am a believer in the power of the process. People should come to Bear and Beauty because they're not alone. Like if you're watching this video, you're not alone um, and you're welcome into the house and try out painting. <laughs>